What's going on? <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Guess who's back? Um, yeah, I'm back again, finally. I'm actually going to start making videos now. Yeah, today I'm going to show you how to make a no cap type beat. I'm going to be showing you two different beats. And this is the first one right here. Uh, this one is a guitar one, and the other one's going to be a piano one. So I'm going to start off with this guitar one right here. Um, I start off with this loop right here. This is how it sounds like. So first off, uh, what I have on the guitar is this EQ right here and just some reverb. As you can see, nothing too crazy, just cutting out the lows. You can also hear there's some vocals on the background, these two here. And for those, what I did there was also just again, put some EQ on there, but also cutting out the highs as well and the lows and just putting a lot more reverb on it. And yeah, that's all I really did. So yeah, after that, I went straight to the drums. And the first thing I did was I just put down this simple rim shot right here. And this is how it sounds like. After I had that, I went straight to the hi-hats and I just put a really simple hi-hat pattern down, two steps and just uh, messed with the velocity a little bit. And this is how it sounds like. Uh, after I had that, I went straight over and added this kick right here. And this is how that sounds like. Then uh, to complement that kick, I just went over and added this spins 808 right here. As you can see, it's turned all the way up and that's it. Then next up, I went over here and added this one little perk here. It also has a little bit of reverb on it and this is how it sounds like. Then, so then next up, I added this snare right here. And uh, as you can see, I've messed a lot with the velocity and um, that's not the only thing I did. Uh, I also added some delay on it, as you can see right here. This is the delay I put on there. And yeah, as I said, I also messed with velocity and the delay and that just makes the snare really bouncy. And yeah, I think it sounds way better like this, but yeah, have a listen. So that was the snare. Uh, then next up, I added this crash right here to just mark every time the verse or the hook starts. Then next up, what I did is I just took that same crash, uh, reversed it and just turned it down as well. And I just put that at the start of every time before the hook starts. So this is how it sounds like. So you got a nice little transition there with that crash reverse. And yeah, so then the last thing I actually did was I added this little scratch right here. And see, it's just this scratch, it sounds like this. And what I did on there was I just added some EQ to it, cutting out a bit of the lows, and then put a bit of reverb on there and turned it quite down. And then as you can see, I just added it in throughout the track um, every time, like kind of before like the beat drops. So this is how it sounds here. Yeah, that was already it. I added my tag and uh, Red John's tag, which the loop is from, and that was it. That's all beat done. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And yeah, that's the first beat. Now let's get on to the second beat. So here we have the second beat. So here we have the second beat. Um, this one's a piano one. This time I got a loop from uh, Money XO, and um, this is how it sounds like. So as you can see, it's uh, just like a piano, then there's a guitar and um, also some vocals. What I did for the piano, same as always, just took out some of the low low ends, uh, put some reverb on there. And then I think for the rest, I didn't really put anything on there. Maybe a bit of reverb, 
bit of EQ again. Just nothing too crazy. I don't really mess with the loops that much anyway. Just kind of leave them how they are. Maybe I'll pitch them up, uh, pitch them down a bit. Nothing too crazy. And other than that, like I said, all I'd really do with the loops after that is cut out the low ends and maybe put a bit of reverb on there. And that's it. So yeah, after I have that done, uh, the first thing I did was I just added this clap, simple clap right here. After that, I uh, layered the snare with the clap, and yeah, this is what it sounds like. Then I went over and added this hi-hat pattern right here. Pretty much just two steps with a few little rolls here, and then just putting a few things here and there. This is what it sounds like. After I had that, I went over to add this 808 right here. Uh, yeah, so I added this 808 right here, and this is how it sounds like. After I had that, I added this kick right here to make that 808 really hit. So yeah, I added this kick right here, same pattern as the 808. Next thing I added was this open hat right here. And this open hat pretty much hits almost every time the kick hits. And, and yeah, it just kind of sounds good. So this is how it sounds like. Next up, I added another open hat right here. And this one has a little bit of reverb on it. And as you can see, I also panned it a little to the left because it just sounded better. And uh, so that sounds like then I added a, another snare this time I have no effects on it and I didn't really mess with the velocity and this that sounds like And then the last thing I did was I added this crush right here. And and yeah, what I added to that crush was some delay and some reverb. And this is how it sounds like. And that's it. That's the whole beat right there. So that's that's two ways like kind of you can make like kind of a no cap type beat. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's two beats. If you have any questions, you know, leave them below. And also if you have any suggestions of kind of like what videos I should do in the future, also let me know and I'll do that. And so yeah, just let me know. Also don't forget to subscribe, like, all that stuff. Yeah. Peace. Guess you spot, you miss shop. L8 with the guns get slap. In the whip with the lots. Hope that we don't get a rock. Don't talk gosh.